This is the solution to question 2, paper 2 of the SQA's Curriculum for Excellence Specimen Higher Exam. We're wandering about in a wildlife reserve, um, population of mammals, starts off at 2000. We introduce conservation measures, population increases after a year, 2500, then after another year it's up at 2980. And we're told that we can model this situation by using this recurrence relation. Now, part A asks us with this information to find the values of A and B. So we should start by examining what this recurrence relation that we're given means. So it's telling us we can find the size of the population after n plus 1 years from the size of the population after n years by multiplying by a and adding b. If we start with the population one particular year and then move on to the population size the next year, the method of doing that is multiplying by a and adding b. So in particular, the initial population, to get from it to the population next year, we proceed by multiplying by A and adding B. And we do that similarly to go from the population after one year to the population number after two years, multiply by A and add B. That process goes all the way along the line of populations down the years. That's why it's called a recurrence relation. So what do we know? We know that we start out with 2000 and this f after one year we end up with 2500. So that process multiplying by A and adding B will lead us from 2000 to 2500 and similarly to get to two years later population 2980. Same procedure. Multiply by A and add B. So starting with 2000, multiply by A, add B, we'll end up with 2500. If we start with 2500, multiply by A, and add B, we'll end up with 2980. And as you can see, we've got simultaneous equations, two unknowns. Let's subtract the first equation from the second equation. 2000A from 2500A is 500A. B taken away from B is 0. B's vanish. And 2500 from 2980 is 480. So let's divide both sides of this by 500. And if I double top and bottom, get 960 over 1000. And therefore, as a decimal, A comes out to be 0 0.96. And now let's put A equals 0 0.96 in, we could use either of these two, but let's use the first one. 2000 A plus B equals 2500. So that means 2000 lots of 0 0.96 add B, and I'll get 2,500. Now, calculators could be used, but let's think about this. If we're multiplying this number by 2,000, it's the same as multiplying by 1,000 and then doubling. So multiplying that by 1,000 gives us 960. If I double 960, I get 1,920. So B will be 2,500 minus 1,920, which is 580. So there's our two values for these variables. Uh, let me put these up here, ready for the second part of the question. So A is 0 0.96 and B is 580. So part B, 
Conservation measures will end if the population stabilises at over 13,000. Will this happen? Justify your answer. So we're concerned now about what on earth happens in the long run. We know that we've got 2,000. We know that we then get 2,500. We know the population's increasing, but basically what's happening in the long run? Does it stabilise? Is there a limit? Now, theory tells you that in a recurrence relation like this, there's a multiplier. And it's the size of this multiplier that tells you whether there is a limit or not. If the multiplier is a fraction smaller than 1 or bigger than negative 1, it can be a negative uh, fraction also, um, if it lies between negative 1 and 1, then ultimately this sequence of numbers will end up at some limit, some number that is constant. If we do the procedure, if we multiply by A and add B, in this case multiply by 0 0.96 and add 580, that number L will not change. So that's the theory. What do we write? Um, let's just write down the recurrence relation that we've discovered we're working with. And the observation that since the multiplier 0 0.96 lies between negative 1 and 1, there is a limit. A limit exists. Call this L. So we're at this stage where we know if you multiply L by 0 0.96 and add 580, you'll end up with exactly the same number. That's what a limit means, that the population in the wildlife reserve of mammals remains constant. So what we can say is that if we take this limit L, multiply it by 0 0.96, add 580, that's what we've always done, that's the recurrence relation that's involved. We do that procedure to L, we'll end up with L. So let's subtract 0 0.96L from both sides. So there's 580 is 1L minus 0 0.96 lots of L. So that'll give us 0 0.04 lots of L. So dividing both sides by 0 0.04 will end up getting the value of L. So L will be 580 divided by 0.04. The calculators or let's multiply top and bottom by 100 to get rid of these decimals and let's divide out 4 into 5 is 1, 4 into that, 4 for 16, 4 5. So there you go, 14,500. So this is certainly more than the 13,000 that they require for a stable population. So conservation measures will end. Justify, will this happen? Uh, yes. Uh, end the measures since the limit is 14,500, which is greater than the 13,000 that's stated there. So you must basically compare this with that to, to earn your final mark in this question.